we received a lot of criticism for how we handled the bomber incident the other day. As a result, in order to reduce the heat, we'll be reorganizing the squadron somewhat. We have been tasked to bring a new member from the AWACS community in as an intern who will monitor and report back their findings to the higher-ups. Now, this was intended to be a reprimand against me. However, since I was following the exact parameters of the mission, I've decided that babysitting the intern will be Fatso's responsibility. Wait a second. You're giving me your punishment? That's correct. As the squadron commander, I'm far too busy to deal with this kind of thing. Besides, as element lead, it's your responsibility to remind me, the flight lead, when I'm making a mistake. I tried. But you failed. Just keep that in mind as you babysit the new guy. Noriko, take it from here. Ugh. All right. We'll begin this mission briefing by introducing our new squadron member. Stand up, son, and introduce yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Claudia Luisa Yvette Daniela Arena. That's a mouthful there. I think your new call sign's going to be Clyde. Uh, all right, sir? All right. Now that that's over with, Clyde is our new intern from the AWAC Sandrock Squadron. He's going to be Fatso's backseater as he transitions from the FA-18E to the FA-18F. Just to be clear, Clyde is not a non-flying officer. He's an intern. He hasn't even... Clyde, why are you still standing? Sit down already! Yes, sir? As I was saying, he's just an intern. Hell, you can leave him here and not even use him for all I care. Anyway, on to the mission briefing. Riyaruja is believed to be using parts of the Roca Rojas base for supplies and as staging areas for strikes against IUN member nations. While we could send bombers in to wipe out the area entirely, that's expensive and time-consuming. Instead, we're just going to mow the grass. The IUN has established a no-fly zone over Roca Rojas. Therefore, your mission today will be combat air patrol. Fly in, shoot down anyone violating the no-fly zone, Refuse to elaborate, then leave. What kind of aircraft are we up against? Mostly enemy aircraft, but given your personal history, it's highly possible you'll be against FA-18s as well. The rest of you, be on the lookout for Mirage 2000s, JAS-39 Grippins, and F-16 Fighting Falcons. You know, the low-tier stuff. Dismissed. This is my first mission in a fighter ship. Normally, I'm the back of a large AWACS plane. Well, you're in for a real treat then. The F-18 is the pride of the Maritime Defense Force. It may be slower than the F-14, less stealthy than the F-35, less range than the Su-33, and a lower payload than the Rafale M. But when you need barely adequate in all areas of air combat, there's no finer jet. That doesn't sound flattering at all when you put it like that. Horn 1, up and ready. Horn 2, up and ready. Horn 3, up and ready. Launch wind ready. Ready on the cat. Horn lead, crown, F-18 launching. Horn 2, snake, F-18 launching. Horn 3, Fatso, let's do it. Yahoo! Horn lead, Skybox. Bandits operating over the AO. Barry, 0, 4, 5. Angels 10. Range 20 miles. Weapons free. Skybox, horn lead. Wilco, all units, weapons free. Wilco. Wilco. Hey, I'm on clock high. Everyone pick a bandit. Target locked. And Fox 3. Flash three. Horn lead, Skybox. Confirming three bandits down. Wait. Four new bandits on radar. Two bandits bearing zero, niner, zero. Angels, 11. Range, 22 miles. Second pair, bearing two, 
seven, zero. Range, 24 miles. Weapons free. Check your radar. It looks like a hodgepodge of random aircraft. Doesn't matter. Everyone pick a bandit and engage. Snake, Fatso, missile in the air, flares! I'm going after the Viper and Phantom. I'm on Gripen 1. I'm on Gripen 2. Box 3, defensive! Box 3. Flash one. Fox three. Magnum. Splash two. Splash three. Box three. Splash four. All right. Seven bandits down. No losses. That's what I want to hear. You bounced for pretty good, huh? It was really impressive. Of course it was impressive. VFA-69 is the greatest squadron in the entire Maritime Defense Force. And modest, too. All right. Let's see what we're up against now. AWACS Horn 1, picture. Horn 1, Skybox. Picture clean. Wait a sec. Picking up a single MiG-21. It's moving three times faster than a normal MiG-21. You mean he's supersonic? Affirmative. The MiG-21 just fired a missile at us! That red MiG-21 took down that unarmed and entirely defenseless AWACS like it was nothing! This guy is an ace. All units fall back. But why? Think about it. The enemy knows we're in F-18s. If they are sending a single MiG-21 against us, the enemy isn't stupid enough to send pilots out for the sole purpose of getting them killed. That means this MiG-21 must be special. There's no telling what this guy's capable of. All units withdraw. Horn 3. Call the ball. Horn 3, Rhino Ball, 2.1. Roger Ball. So, Nugget, how was it? That was awesome! You bet it was. Now let's get to that debrief. Rearuja managed to shoot down one of our AWACS. But on the plus side, you did shoot down multiple bandits. Snake even managed to go into a first live combat mission without killing one of her own guys. A shallow victory. But a victory nonetheless. More importantly, the Red Cloud is flying. The man who killed five AWACS at the Battle of Lunan. He shot down five AWACS at the Battle of Lunan? Why do we have so many AWACS at a single battle? Because we knew he was going to be there. The AWACS killingest pilot of all time. We needed to have all our bases covered. The plan was to have so many AWACS flying that no one pilot could take them all down by himself. Nevertheless, the Red Cloud shot down our entire AWACS force. Just one pilot with a MiG-21. Now that the Red Cloud has appeared, things are going to become a lot more difficult. Rest up and prepare for the next mission. Dismissed. We'll honor our fallen. But tonight we celebrate! Snake got her first two air-to-air -air kills, and that's worth breaking out the booze.